What's up people, welcome back to another explanation video. This time I'm gonna go over the most useful armors in AL. So yeah, I will do one for the armor and one for the accessory and uh, yeah, in two different videos. And this one, I will split them into early, mid and late game. So I will pick a few different armors for the early, a few mid and etc for the late. And uh, I will also leave the uh, the list in the comment section as well just in case for people that who wants to check it and also I will provide the location for it as well um, yeah with that being said I'm gonna go over them in order and uh, that way you know so it's not like just a list a bunch of different armors that's all you need so other than that let's do this starting off I got the white mist armor. With that being said, the white mist armor is definitely one of the best armor. Of course, it's for hazarding, and uh, yes, it is one of the most important armor in this game, especially if you want to do the uh, hazard build. And the location is Sylvia Mountain in the east. The first map you go to, it is uh, up. It is up at the top where the uh, there will be a spider spawn. It's a actually a um, relic quest. So yeah. That's where the location is. Next, I got the Arachna armor from the east. Now the Arachna armor is actually a very good armor, especially for the uh, stats, like strength and dex is a very good one. And also has the uh, Falcon Fist and for the you know combat skill. Now Rubai Strong is okay. I mean, if you have enough special accuracy, you can still use it. But other than that, it is in the east where you'll find a frog in the um you know where they go all the way down at the bottom um at the stairs so that's where the location is next i got the steel armor it's from the legendary blacksmith this you can get once you uh, unlock the uh, divine beast for the uh, normal game where the like the level 80 stuff once you kill all four different ones that requires the material or acquire the uh, material then you can craft this item or you can do it in the uh, you know camp as well but i think you need like higher you know smithing skills so it's the same thing you can just go to the let's go to centoria and talk to the legendary blacksmith and uh, craft there now steel armor for that being said it is one of the best armor in the entire game no doubt about it even for the earlier version this is like honestly the best dps uh, armor you can get because it's just insanely powerful um i'm not here to talk about how good these armors are i mean this they are really really good so i'm just gonna say my and like send me some time to explain what they are and what do they do i mean by this time up next i got the force fabric armor now the force fabric armor is a very very good um special accuracy early for early um games especially when you want to do the uh when you're trying to land widths or other stuff for north extreme and etc so it's like it's actually a very very good armor you can pick it up earlier on the location is in Uetra valley it's it is simply it's the south part of the map the relic beast again you can see that on the map uh, whoever drops that is the uh, whale uh, once you kill it there's uh then you'll get that armor up next i got a blade render armor now this armor is a um is a vitality armor um it might not seem as useful sometimes but um I will, I will include it just in case people that wants to use it to do some tank builds or have a little bit more HP and etc for very very early on because like you can also get the dragon armor um, the guardian dragon armor but that also draw from a divine beast if you can take that on go ahead and farm that instead but if you cannot just uh, take this version of armor as well also there's another one i kind of want to mention as well is the um the aberrant armor is from the uh, the west normal raid that you can pick it up um there's a chest once you beat the spider you go in the room and that's where the location is so all of them can be a pretty 
decent one, but I figure why not just put a Vitality Armor in there just in case people are already on that wants to get it. And uh, the location is Manalda Rocks, uh, dropped by the spider in the southeast corner. Okay, so now we're moving into the mid game. So let's see what we got. Now I'm gonna start off with a XT block light close. Now there's a few different versions as you can see on my screen. One has the uh, Rising Spirit and Sword Dance. The other one has the um, the Zen Fighter, uh, a little bit different. A little bit different variation. Um, so this is definitely a very good armor if you want to use a Zen Fighter or if you want to have like higher accuracies, use the XD Black Light Clothes and they're both, both are pretty good. So there's gonna be a few different variations for the XT version. So um, that's why I just like, you know, include all of them at once if they're just you know different if they come with a different uh, combat skills or passives so the location are the east um the east spring right for the uh for some of these i know there's one more version that's non-fixed version um that you can also get from the east supreme ray but majority you can get these armors from the ancient any ancient apostles any DLC so these are like I say the XT um, items are pretty much just random drops in like so many different locations uh, from the ancient apostles from the supreme raids from any the DL any paid DLC one or two and like etc that's why I say you know um, there's not really like specific location for a lot of these XT next I got the Guardian Dragon Armors. Now, the, the, the Dragon Armors is so good because, especially the XT version, you have the passive, you know, for the cooldown rate, minus 10%. That's the whole point of having this armor is like, so you can get your buffs to come back and like, special wise, I mean, if you want to use tank, I guess, um, but really it's just the passive only. Um, that's what makes this armor very useful for later on, especially when you're doing the, uh, DLC too when you set up your characters and just give them you know setups and their buffs comes back and uh, yeah just uh, redo them over and over and uh, it's always important to use cooldown skills um, if you can if you can't kill it in one down or if you want to do a multiple stuff like in the raids and etc and that's always one of the old school setup okay moving on i got the xt close of inquisition now this close is a very good for special accuracies um, especially you can use it for like mid for the wits end and other stuff so even though it doesn't have accuracy but whenever you use zen fighter it don't matter um that's at this point of the game where zen fighter introduced you really don't need to worry about accuracy that much pretty much in a non-existence so yeah but if you still do want to use a uh, you know accuracy for some of this you know, stuff but um it's okay i mean it's still land which then doesn't need accuracy to land anyway so um for you know some of the fights etc now this there is also a uh, fix of a non-fixed function from the north supreme ray i believe is the boss chest uh, once you beat it you can get a non-fixed version and the special accuracy can go up to 40 plus so nonetheless, when you max out to 100, it's gonna stay at 100. I mean, so the, the, because we have plus 99 now, so it doesn't really matter. But if you can get, I think 40, if you get 40 plus base accuracy, the special accuracy when plus 50 is gonna be maxed out regardless. So it will save you a lot of upgrades, uh, shards for other stuff, save you some time as well, but you gotta get it. Um, that's the only problem. So the locations are just ancient, any ancient apostles, DLCs, North Supreme Raid, if you want the non-fixed version. Other than that, yeah, that's pretty much it for this close. Up next, I got the XT Forgotten Outfit. It, the Forgotten, the XT Forgotten Outfit is a very good um, armor you can get. Uh, once you get to DLC one and you can fight the uh, level 400 divine beast it's actually dropped from the uh, princess um, she drops this like sometimes it's also a um, it's a rare drop so it's not a it's not a guaranteed drop every time so it's gonna take a little bit of farming but this close has the really really high dex and agility 
as well as accuracy pretty much so it is a very good dps one you can also use for debuff as well as you can see it's also a pretty high special accuracy so this is a very very good armor to get the only problem is is actually that if you don't have the dlc the pay dlc then you probably won't be able to get this you know this uh you know outfit so that's the only problem with it other than that this armor is really really good for mid game so yeah let's move on to the uh last one for the mid last but not least for the mid i got the xt steel armor now with that being said steel armor is going to return anyway so it is the best armor in the entire game now the xt version there's two different ones there is one with a single passive and there is another one with a double passive the double passive is what you need to look for it's just a little bit higher stats the single passive is a little bit lower and uh, that's pretty much the differences i mean you can still use one passive or two passive i mean depends which one you get first and then um you know if you get one passive trying to farm for another one use it until then so nonetheless just a few you know stats off but yeah other than that it's just xt steel armor is the next upgrade version in the mid game from the original you know uh steel armor now the the location for this one is practically the same um you can get from the ancient apostles from east supreme ray or any i think i don't know i mean i'm like i think i gotten one from from like the uh you know some of the boss chests from the um you know some of the raids back then but the problem is whenever they did the uh, level 999 um ancient apostles they kind of shift the uh, level uh for these item drops higher you used to be able to get these like 200 or 400s i think i think people said that you can only get them from like i don't know maybe like was it like 600 it was like 500 or 600 plus i don't remember somewhere there but uh, i couldn't check it because i'm like mine's already maxed out so people has to um i know they talk about that some in the server but somewhere there but it, it actually you can only get these from like higher ancient apostles so you can no longer get them from 200 between like 200 plus to level 400 back then so that's the only problem now there is another version uh for this armor is the um non-fixed version with the unrival the xt um no, steel armor that's from the east supreme ray the turtles now that version has the uh the best um stats on it but it's a uh, non-fixed obviously that's the best uh, mid game steel armor you can get in the entire game because of the unrival the unrival is just extremely powerful in this game it's free dps that's pretty much it um so obviously you would uh, you would definitely want to farm that from the east supreme ray turtles but drop rate isn't that great um you m the, my best uh guess is like you probably need to use or the recommendations are use the um the rare drop ray food i mean a food uh, booster if you have them but other than that yeah the turtle has the uh the non-fixed for like version from the east supreme ray for the uh, xt steel armor or aka the unrival version that's what it's called so because there's so many different xt version i might as well call it if the unrival version like has unrival i'll just call it i mean that way because so that way it's not confused with xt steel armor with like three different versions so that's pretty much it for the last one in the mid and let's move on to the final one let's start with the uh, first one what i got for the uh, late game and i got the xt abyssal close um this is the best debuff uh, armor in the entire game there's no doubt about it because of the passive yeah you can get pretty much um 100 special accuracy for most of the uh, armors if they have it but the difference is, is that this has the passive for the mental resonance plus so 20 percent special accuracy so yeah that's a lot and um this can be only dropped from the tab here the level 400 divine beast in the dlc one 
Tapir is not an easy farm. And especially the introduced at that point where like you get the armor without the incarnation slot. So without this thing. You kind of need this slot to put the uh, incarnation in. I mean, otherwise it'll be pointless um, because you can't put... That's one thing I also forgot to mention is that these armors, some of these armors, you, know, you have to farm it, um, they drop. There's a chance they might not include the slot. So it is kind of stupid. I don't know why they did that, but it is what it is. We used to be able to plus five and now unlock the slot if you don't have it, but not anymore if you don't get it you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to unlock it in any way so you're gonna have to farm one that's good and with the uh, slot built in just remember that it is very important to have that slot uh for the incarnation because it is very very important and uh this is definitely the best armor for the debuffer in the entire game i mean you can also use for dps as well it has really high strength and access too so it's not just like you know just debuff only but like i say there's many other choices for dps in this game next i got the sp black light clothes now the sp black light clothes is definitely one of the best um armor for the uh base armor like because it has super high accuracies and decks so that way you can put in your main especially when you need to press you know x to down the enemy in this game um but it also has pretty good strength as well i mean you can use that for dps as well if you really want to um this includes do or die um and um yeah the other thing is this armor can also come with non-slot so i'm not gonna <laughs> i'm not gonna mention too much if there's no if there's non-slot I'll, I'll just add it in but this only drops from the level 900 Garuda from the DLC 2. He is very OP, so he has he's, uh, he has probably the most HP in the entire game. So yeah, that Divine Beast is uh, pretty tanky. So if you want to farm this armor, just make sure you prepare to take him on and uh, he will drop this uh, once in a while. If you do use the booster sometimes, it's not a guaranteed drop. Like all these drops are not guaranteed. They just take time. Up next, I got the SP Close of Inquisition. Now, this is also another good debuff armor. I might as well include it since I included the uh, Abyssal Close. This is a alternative way if you don't have the tap here, like, or if you don't have the DLC one, like this, you can get from the normal game. So the locations are high. Um, ancient Apostle. So probably about 800, 900-ish. This will start to show up. It's always going to be set for the uh, 44 Special Accuracy base. I don't know if there's going to be a lower version or not. I don't remember. But that's the one you want to look for. And you can just see, it also has non-slot. It's kind of stupid. I mean, it makes no sense. But anyway, um, when you plus 50 this or less, so I think it's going to max out to nine oh 100 so and uh that way if you use zen fighter this armor can be pretty good for debuff so nonetheless um the abyssal close is much more superior because of the uh passive but this armor is still very good you can still land pretty much a lot of slows and all the stuff you know in the game especially um especially like when the special accuracy is that high anyway so this is a alternative wave uh for the uh, abyssal close route um it will work it will work if you don't want to farm the abyssal close get this one and use it it works the same but like i say the uh, abyssal close is much better if you have the time to farm it last but not least i got the sp steel riding armor with that being said there is nothing to talk about this armor it is superior it is the best dps armor in this entire game um yeah it has like extremely high strength and agility as well as included the unrival and uh, accuracy dex is pretty good it's pretty good for armor i mean you can see like in the beginning steel armor has no accuracy so that's the only problem 
you know, if a steel armor, the base version has like dex or accuracy, it's gonna be insane. Like it was kind of struggle back in the day trying to use that armor for DPS, but there is no accuracy for it. But now you don't have to worry about it. And nonetheless, this armor, you know, got everything pretty much. So this can be only drop in the um, DLC 2 if you want a non-fixed version. Um, this, it is the Lions. I have so many guides for that. If you're not sure, check out the uh, how to remove all the uh, dates, like limit, those dates limit um, in the uh, after floor 80, then you can farm this infinite. And uh, it's a very, very good armor that, well, you actually need DLC too. If you don't have it, you're not going to be able to get this armor. That's pretty much it for the armors, the most useful armors in AL. I know there's going to be like good amount um, that you can kind of include it into this video, but it's already lengthy enough and I already listed out most of the useful ones like you can pretty much see in any builds and all of that stuff. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the armors. Armors in this games are quite, like, they're quite, you know, powerful. Um, but hopefully the next game will get even more. I mean, we need that five-star armors. Come on, man. Like, how do we not get them? I have no idea. But nonetheless, hopefully we'll get in the next game. But yeah, the next video I'll be working on is the uh, accessory. I'll be doing the similar patterns with this one. But I don't think I'm going to need to explain too much um, because accessory is accessory. So you just see what they have on there and then where to get it. Usually that's about it. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, this uh, most useful armors in this game is actually a little bit lengthy than the, um, the most useful weapons because I can split them. This I kind of have to put them all into one whole video and uh yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Until next time.